Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. My name is Renelle and we are a family of six cash stuffing. Um, I chose this method because we have over $60,000 worth of debt. We recently just paid off $7,000 worth of debt. I will link the videos down below if you want to know more about that. But thank you so much for watching. Let's get into today's cash stuffing. As you noticed, I did not do a budget with me and that is because honestly, I just feel like I would rather do the cash stuffings and share more of the budgeting over on my Instagram. Um, so let me know if you still wanna see the budget breakdowns, but I haven't been doing that because honestly, it's a lot. Um, I still do it, but I can never ever get to it in time for a video for you guys. So if you guys want me to continue that, please let me know. But for today, I'm not going to be doing that. I do have my budget sitting next to me, so I know what to cash stuff. But let's get into this. Let's start out with with counting our money. It is right here in my purse. Also ignore my Band-Aid. I was helping my daughter with her medicine. She had surgery. A lot has happened, you guys. My daughter had surgery. Um, I dislocated my sternum. I've actually been in a ton of pain. Um, life's been crazy. My fiance started his business. I'm like his bookkeeper, his digital designer. I'm like everything for him. So I'm exhausted in many different ways. So I appreciate your guys' just patience and just how loving and kind you guys all are over on my Instagram. If you guys are new here, I'm sure that's a lot to take in. My returning subscribers know what, man, a year, a year and a half it's been for me. So they won't be surprised that another thing happened in my life. <laughs> but let's go ahead and get into this. Sorry for chatting. Um, let's count our money. It's in my purse. Um, I have my envelopes and everything. I'm just gonna leave my purse here instead of putting it away. Um, but so these are my cash totals that I take to the bank. I use Sharpie. If you're wondering how to get Sharpie off, you use a dry erase over top of it and then you can just wipe it off. Cause, because I feel like every time I use a dry erase, it never stays on for the teller and I hate that. So I have my denominations right here on what we will be cash stuffing. It is a little bit less than this because I did already stuff my fiance's business binder. So yeah, you can find these on Etsy, by the way, along with my um, placeholders, 1,000, oh, I have them flipped. 1,500 placeholders, you can find those over on my Etsy. I'll have it linked down below. So um, let's go ahead and get into this. Anything you guys see today should be on my Etsy shop or at least coming. Um, there are some, cash binder envelopes that are on there but some that are not yet so please be patient i'm working on it it's a lot <laughs> like i said i've been going through a little bit so our money is all ms again so let me go ahead and fix that Okay, all done. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and count this. So we've got 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1000, 1001, 1002, 1003, 350, 4, 450, 470, 490, 510, 530. So 1530, 5, 40, 550, 560, 570, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 6, 6, 5, 605, 610, 615, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So we've got $1,623 that we are cash shoving today. Um, so this is going to do all of the bills that I am paying in today's video will go. Our next paycheck is on March 10th. So this will pay all of the bills until March 10th. 
Um, we are paid on a bi-weekly basis. And then my fiance's new business, he will start getting paid every Monday. So um, hopefully we will be switching. He won't work at his current job and he'll be switching over to his business once it finally takes off. Fingers crossed that is soon. Um, so he can do that instead of both. And then I can focus on this and what I love and doing this and my social media. And I have other platforms as well that I'm trying to focus on. So fingers crossed that happens. But let's go ahead and cash stuff. I'm going to start in my bill binder. Um, if you guys are new here, this is the first time you're seeing my envelopes. I've got, these are not on my Etsy shop yet, but they will be. Um, my rent one, obviously. And then these are new. You guys have not seen these. These are my category like cash envelope uh, trackers. They're in between each one. Um, I keep track of when I'm adding money into them. And that way I know when money is coming in and money is going out. So let's go ahead and start with our subscriptions. So let me show you what our tracker looks like right now in here. So I can show you which ones we'll be doing. So SoundCloud did already come out with just $10 of my account. So that money is not here, but we do have our example this time. And then we have my radar. And if you're wondering what my radar is, this is a subscription to a weather thing that we have to have if we live in Florida. It notifies us more accurately on like hurricanes. Um, I'd rather keep that. It's only $4. I'm keeping it. Um, Canva, I use that for work. I use that for my fiance's work. I use that for his business. We have Netflix and Hulu that are coming out this payday. So we have quite a bit. Uh, also, um, our Chewy, which is our my dog food came out, but we're actually going to be stuffing that in my um, dog weekly expenses because she's also getting groomed this payday. So she has a lot going to her, but let's go ahead and add this up so we know how much we are going to be using. So we've got 67 one. Okay, so we are going to be adding $118. Now, normally it would be minus the two or the sample, which is 52, but that's pretty much like half my month. The other ones are not nearly this much. I think it's like 15 bucks. Um, so 119 is going to go into this envelope. I know that's a lot, but it's because of the three month subscription and we can't get rid of it. Um, it's a nicotine subscription if you're not aware. Um, it's my fiance. <laughs> so 1, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I wish he would quit. He's actually cutting back and that's why we only need it every three months, but he's slowly backing out. Anyways, <laughs> so 119, so 100, 110, 115, 116, 117, 118, 119. Okay. Um, and I marked that they are monthly, this one's every three, and that they are auto, except for this one, I have to put it in that we wanna take it out. Um, yeah, so my total monthly subscriptions without this one and without that, or with, including my dog food is 136. So that is our subscriptions. And I put in our subscriptions at the first of the month. We are not there yet, but I am going to go ahead and fill this out. So today's date is 2.27 and we are adding $119. So the balance is one, sorry, I was about to write the dollar sign, 119. Okay, so moving on to rent. I am going to leave this here because I'm going to need it. So rent is getting eight hundred dollars. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight hundred into rent. Okay. So I do need to fill out my tracker. This is going towards March's rent. We will pay the remaining of this on 
um, the 10th of March because my rent is due on the 15th. So let's go ahead and color in. We are coloring in two because that each one of these is $400. Okay, so we are, do have half of my rent for March. And I'm going to write down what day we added it. 227, we're adding 800. The balance is 800. And a lot of you guys actually asked, how do I cash off my rent? Um, so the reason I cashed off it is, like I said, I'm saving for March's rent and we're still in February. So then when I save it in March, the other part of it, I still have it before it's due. I then go put it in my account and then pay my rent. So I'm still saving for it ahead of time. That's why I cashed off it and I don't just leave it in my account. Because if I left this in my, in my account, trust me, if I have a card, I'll swipe it. I won't think about it, I'll just swipe it. So when I swipe it, I'll spend my rent money and then I gotta come up with $1,600 um, phone is going to be getting 218, so 1, 2, 15, or 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, okay, so I was hoping that we were going to be able to pay off some devices with our tax return, but we weren't able to, so I'm going to work on trying to put some extra when we have it to the actual devices on our plan so our bill will go down. So we have 100, 200, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. So we do have our phone bill. Let me take out my tracker. Um, so let me color it in. I'm gonna choose purple for the month of March. <laughs> um, my daughter's fourth birthday is in March. I cannot believe it that she's gonna be four. I have four daughters. If you're new here, um, they are seven, about to be four, about to be two, and six months. All little babies. I don't know why I colored in all of them. Oh yeah, I do because I'm, I'm paying it in full. God, what's wrong with me? It's late, you guys. <laughs> so I'm not marking it paid because I haven't paid it yet, but I do have it. So let me go ahead and add this back in there. I'm like, what am I doing? Yeah, so we have five devices and the total for all of our devices to pay off to lower our monthly payment is $732.57. And then our phone payment is due on the fifth of every month. And then each phone, like phone or um, AirPods is $54.50. And since I have the full amount, that's what I'm putting in there. I just thought I would explain that to you. This, These are on my Etsy shop too, if you're interested. I love my bill trackers. I, instead of like going to my calendar and figuring out what bills are due and like when they're due and trying to go back and find it, I have my binder and they're set up in order. And then I also have like the due date on them, how much and things like that. So I love that. I'm gonna add on here when I'm, Putting the money in here, so we are putting 218. So the balance is 218. Okay. Moving on to Capital One. So Capital One is getting $40. If you're not aware, I did pay off three credit cards. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. So I only have one credit card that we're making payments to. I need to put a new uh, credit card payoff thing in here um, because I need to work on it. But yes, Capital One is the actually only card that we have. I will still be leaving. Um, oh, see. Oh, I, okay, I did. Um, so we did pay off this card. We paid it off on, oh gosh, when did we get it? On the 24th. So, but it actually still isn't posted. It posts tomorrow. I just called the credit card company. So we're gonna put 228 and we paid 5, 10, 30. If you missed my tax return video, that is when I paid all of these off. 
Oh, I'm sorry, the balance is zero. You guys, what? No, I'll fix that later. Like, oh, darn it. So this is the one that we were paying a payment to. So it's two twenty-seven, and we paid forty dollars to it. So the balance then is, and our balance was actually our um our availability was only nine hundred. The interest actually put us over. This card is maxed out. So we have to take 906.74 minus 40. Our balance is 866.74. And I will mark on here like the interest charge and whenever we spend money too. So that is that one. Um, credit one, again, I paid, I don't know why I didn't fill this out. The balance on here was $823. Um, and we did pay this. Um, this one did post though on the 24th. So two twenty four, dollars and we paid $823. And the balance is on this one is now zero. So, and then electric is going to get its normal 150 so 150 my electric bill is not due though till the 6th of march but it's paid now because again we don't get paid till the 10th so i have to pay these bills um so internet i am putting some money towards it my internet bill is 97 dollars, but i round up to 100 and then leave whatever's left in my buffer so since we are adding 30, I can only color in one of my little Wi-Fi's. That was horrible coloring, you guys. Just awful. Um, so 20, 30 is what we're gonna be putting into internet. And I just look, this is not due till the 19th of March, but I'd like to have a little bit in there before kind of trying to work to having our bills ahead. Um, so we're like have all of it way beforehand and like splitting the bills up so we can have more money from paycheck to paycheck. Um, internet, let me pull this out. So $227, $30, and the balance is $30 now. Okay, so moving on, Premier Bank. This is the other card. So Premier Bank had a balance of $400, Forty-four seventy-six, I believe that's it. But we paid this on the twenty-fourth, and we did pay off the full balance. We then used it. Don't be angry. Um, it was zero, and then on the twenty-fifth, we did go get some food. The balance is now thirty-four dollars. <laughs> on here so I do have to pay that next payday <laughs> um yeah so car insurance though is going to be getting $49 so 20 I feel like I didn't do something right you guys what did I do Oh, JK, that's right. I'm not. Um, so it already went through. I need to go put this in the bank to pay myself back. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. Well, my car insurance is 98. So I saved 49. Um, and then it already went through and it was paid. So I actually need to go put this in the bank. Um, that's right. I wasn't cash stuffing it. So I'm going to set this to the side because this does need to go to the bank. I'm gonna just set it right there. So car insurance was paid. I do also have this tracker to save up for my car insurance premium to start paying it in full. I would love to be able to do that. Um, so I am gonna start that soon, you guys, I promise. Um, yeah. And then I'll fill out the tracker when I'm done on this. Oh, I did. Okay, so 49. Um, so now I just need to put that I took it back out because the money was in my account and it already was paid. So 227. And we took out 
49. So the balance in this is zero now again. Okay, I did add it. Um, M loan, you guys, M loan is paid off. I am taking this out of here. I don't have this anymore. You have no idea how happy I am. Why do I have two guide codes? That's odd. Um, M loan is done. I'm taking this one out. So happy. Um, my daughter's school is not due this payday, but it was already paid. My water bill is not due this payday. It was already paid. So let's go ahead and move on to our expenses. Gas. I did fill up gas with my tax return, so it didn't have to come out of this paycheck. Um, so I don't need to put anything to gas. <laughs> um, eating out is not getting anything, you guys. Necessities. Oh my gosh, necessities still has money in here. Heck yeah. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I do also have a gift card from Target that I got for buying diapers. Um, so we're actually adding 50 to necessities. So now we have 59, but there's 20 on this. We have 79 to necessities. Super happy about that. So I'm gonna put this in here. Um, so if you're wondering about these envelopes, these are on my, um, I can't even think you guys, what's wrong with me? So 227, we're adding 50. So there's 59 plus the Target gift card. I'll just do 27, 20, 20 gift card. So we have 79 in here. Okay. So anyways, um, these envelopes are on my Etsy shop. I love them. They're like this cute like bubble letter. Let me like try to get up close and show you guys. Um, and then there's the half. And then obviously you can see the money through on the back. I think they're super cute. But anyways, groceries is going to be getting $100. Um, we will be using my fiance's paycheck next on Monday to also help out with this and my Etsy paychecks. I get paid on Etsy every Tuesday. So I do have that coming as well. Um, yeah, so but groceries is gonna get a hundred. Let me add that right here. 227, 100, 100. Okay. And then Luna, that's right. I wasn't gonna add her dog food because it already came out of my account. You guys, I'm on another level. I'm telling you, it's late, I'm tired. Uh, so, um, we are just stuffing her grooming appointment. So her grooming is 75. So 50, 75 is going to Luna. She is getting groomed again. Um, she needs it so bad. You guys living in Florida, you can get sand fleas and all these things. So I have to keep her groomed. So 75, so let me put that in here. So 227. 75. Okay. And then I'm not getting anything. My fiance did have his expense, um, but that's, it already came out of the account. You guys, my paycheck was a mess this payday because of tax return. Let's move on to our, I think we, no, we're not done with this. <laughs> um, so snowball, I should have added on here, but I guess I didn't. Um, emergency is going to be getting $16. Not a lot, but we're working there. So 10, 15, 16. Let's add that in here. I want to do a sinking funds update because I want to know how much I have in my sinking funds now that I've actually been able to add to it. So emergency has 100, 110, 120, 125, 130, 135, 136, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. Wow, you guys, $142. I know that doesn't seem like a lot, but to me, that's a lot. I'm really, really, really proud of that. Okay, let me add that. I have been trying to add little bit each time so we're at one i don't know why i did two dollar signs there 142 in that i'm so happy about that <laughs> um new cars not getting anything but each of my girls is gonna be getting theirs 
Um, these envelopes are in my Etsy shop. Um, so Ava is going to be getting $5, her usual. So 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, you guys. I'm so happy about that. She's got 55 in here. Oh, whoops. That's going to bother me. No, it's that. Okay. She's got 55, so 227, 5. Okay. So she's got 55. And then Alexandria, she's getting 5. So she now has 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Forty dollars. Um, she is my. She's about to turn four. Um, these are oldest to youngest, just in case you're wondering. Um, so two twenty-seven five. She now has forty. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about that. Um, Anastasia is getting five dollars. So okay, quick thing. I saw this thing where. Okay, it's just been bothering me. So people pronounce her name Anastasia, and I know that that's how this is pronounced, but if you use Siri on your phone to say Anastasia, this is the spelling you get. If you use your phone on Siri to also say Anastasia, this is how it's spelled. I don't care how many times I take her to the doctor's office, you guys. I correct them every time on her, the pronunciation of her name, and they get it wrong every single time. And I, when I mean like I correct them, I mean like they'll say like, oh, Anastasia's appointment. And I was like, yeah, um, we're here for Anastasia's appointment. And I tell you, not even a few seconds later, it's Anastasia. I'm like, what? I don't even, oh my gosh, you guys, it drives me nuts. I'm sure it's a mom thing. It drives me nuts though. So 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So she has 40. All of my girls should have 40. The only reason that my oldest has more is because she contributes to that as well. So 2, 27, 5, 40. Okay. And then Ariana is getting her five dollars. Okay, so 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. They all have 40. So two, 27, five, and 40. And I have $5 remaining, you guys. I didn't think I had any money remaining. Um, you know what? Let's do... Where's my vacation? Where are you? There it is. Okay. We're going to put $5 in vacation, you guys. I would like to go see some family. And we're going to put it in here. That's where that's going. I don't know if I made an error. If I did, I'll take it out. But um, vacation's gonna be getting five dollars. It's not a lot, but I'll take it. So the balance is five dollars. Okay, you guys. So that's gonna do it for today's video. I know that was really long. I need to go put this in the bank. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I really do enjoy talking to you guys all in the comments. You guys are all so sweet and encouraging. If you are curious on how to start a budget, I do have that link down below along with my tax return video and I will leave my Instagram right here. I am way more active over there than I am on YouTube. <laughs> um, so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.